Welcome you back my people, a lot is happening in the political zone, when I say a lot, I really mean a lot is happening in the political zone, Tinubu is on the run, Tinubu is in shambles as a secret video showcase online today that reveals everything and every reason Tinubu has been running the country the way he is doing, and why the country has been going backward, this video will shock you my people, Tinubu has been doing all this deliberately right from the announcing subsidy removal the day he was sworn in as the president of the country, a video circulated online yesterday that showcased the shenanigans and allocation of votes that went down in River State through the help of Wiki, in this same video Peter will Peter Kusi Tinubu again, my people, this video is a must for you people to watch my people make sure you share this video to every social media platform if you cannot share like it give it a thumbs up so that youtube will recommend it for us we'll be right back it's happening in the street again the center of political news celebrity gossip religious gossip and happiness in the society join us the voice of Africa. Welcome to Large Box TV show where we bring you political, gist, celebrity, and religious gossip. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please do where to click the red subscription button and don't forget to click the bell icon so that YouTube will notify you anytime we drop another trending gist. My people, just as I said earlier, a lot is happening in the political zone with all the revelation that is circulating online about 2024 in Nigeria. We are just barely nine days into the ECA and some of these revelations are coming to pass. Part of the revelation we state that some secrets are coming to the open that is going to shake everywhere in Nigeria. Part of it is already happening and I believe more is coming. I, Jan Najatu from the northern part of the country, actually exposed Tinubu in this secret video, which took place in the secret room in london where tinubu was telling aija to be a director in the civil society organization but to the greatest surprise of tinubu aija asked him that what is his plan for nigeria what is the plan for the northern part of the country the answer to this question has made the whole social media platform boiling because what is the future of a country with a leader that doesn't have a vision for the country why then running to be the president of the country stay close to your screen as i will be playing this leaked secret video where this woman exposed tinubu after watching this video you won't have any reason to believe that Tinubu is there in Nassau Rock to make the country a better place and this same president is begging the people of this country in diaspora to come back to the country. Please permit me to ask the question, what are these citizens outside the country? What are they coming back to the country to meet? Are they just coming back to suffer like those people in the country that are already complaining? I bet no. I said this in one of my previous videos that the reason Tinubu is going from one state to another to clear this put between party members is only to make APC to have ground in that state. You see what happened in those states. He tried to clear the dispute between late Akiri Dolu and Ayeda Tiwa. No influence whether Akiri Dolu was safe. Instead of him to have helped Akiri Dolu to step down, who knows if he will still be alive. Akiri Dolu was incapacitated. Instead of him to give a direction that Akiri Dolu should step down, but President Bola Met Tinubu went there for something else even though this is not constitutional for a president to interfere in state matters my people watch this video and see the kind of person you elected as the president of the country after the video i will play what peter obi said about Tinubu, and right after the video we wrap up stay connected my people i said but sir how can you rule without a blueprint he said i will only make a blueprint after winning the elections i said there will be a lot of detractions after winning the elections you have to keep your eyes on the ball he said well you know what uh if you have anything you want me to put in my manifesto then please bring it he said his name is falake and that he's he's working for tenable that he wants me to be a director in the civil society organization and i told him point blank that i don't want to be part of it then he started to plead with me to please accept it i said no i don't want to accept it because I've never sat with Tinubu to tell me what he has for us in the country general and particularly the north. He said, please, madam. He started to beg me. I said, don't embarrass me because I don't want to be arrogant. When people start to say in the name of God, do this, then you feel bad to, to say no. So I gave him a condition. He said the names will be out the next day and he wants my name to be out as the director. I said, no. I can't accept that. Then after all the plea, I said, okay, let me meet you halfway. If I sit with Aswaju and I'm not comfortable with what he says he has for, for the North, then I have a right to opt out. And Falake said, yes, it's okay. So if you notice, when the names came out, the, the, it's the only directorate, which there were two directors, was the the director they put me the civil su su uh, service the civil um, uh, the, 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 the the well the, the civil society organizations there were two I was made a co-director 
that night I got around 11 p.m. I started to get phone calls normally I don't pick my calls at night but then I saw a message saying that Asiwaju wants to talk to you around 11 p.m. so I gave them a reply I'm waiting immediately they saw my text they called me back and Asiwaju called called me he says Hajia I said sir he said I I respect your stance on not accepting the appointment I said yes sir because I can't be a zombie I just can't follow you because you said I should follow you let me know what you have for us up north because if I made a mistake on Buhari with you the, the, the truth is written on the horizon so I have to know what you have for us he said he's in London that if I can I should I should uh, go over he offered to buy me a ticket I said no sir I can afford a ticket and then he said can I get a hotel for you I said yes sir, I will appreciate I took the next Lufthansa to London I saw him that same night and we sat and I said sir the reason why I'm not accepting your appointment is because I don't know what you have for us up north because in the north every single person is either waiting to be killed or kidnapped we can't go on like this what is your blueprint for us he told me that he doesn't have anything for us I said you know you mean sir you don't have a blueprint he said I can't have a blueprint because if I have a blueprint I'll be stepping on too many toes and they might even kill me this was what he said I said but sir how can you rule without a blueprint he said I'll only make a blueprint after winning the elections I said there will be a lot of detractions after winning the elections you have to keep your eyes on the ball he said well you know what uh, if you have anything you want me to put in my manifesto then please bring it I told him that I have an elders we have a network for national salvation I have our elder I'll go meet him in Paris the next day the next day I left for Paris I didn't get to see him but we came back to London we sat and we, 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 we already had a, a template so he gave me something we, we took something about the Almagiri because the Almagiri is really a menace mm -hmm. to us up north they have been used at cannon fodder and when you have able-bodied men that are doing nothing in their millions you will always get a problem I told him about that I wrote about that I wrote about agriculture I wrote about security and so many other things till date I have not been allowed to see a swaj is that good and responsible people do not offer themselves to go into politics <laughs> I, I, I just saw one thing about Baba Ahmed and he, he, he broke down because he said he has never been insulted it's part of the problem if you cannot take the heat you have to leave the kitchen and you see there is so much hypocrisy with Nigerians when it comes to the question of religion the manipulation of religion when you say you are a Christian and you know that Jesus alayhi salam fought corruption he fought injustice he fought to the extent that they looked and tried and did everything to take his life but you say you are a material he was spiritual he didn't have a house he didn't have anything okay but you 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 say you go to god we prayed unto god but you go to him with lies and hypocrisy the same applies to our muslim brethren they go to god with lies so there is this manipulation of religion okay this manipulation of tribe but up there there is no difference between them there's no difference between a muslim thief a christian thief an atheist thief. and then i keep telling them when they, they see 
Because of deception, they see crime and criminality through a prism of tribe and religion. That is deceptive. Because what difference does it make to, a vi to the victim that was killed or is killed by IPOP? What difference does it make if an Igbo man kills a Hausa man or a Hausa man kills an Igbo? Does it make any difference to the, to the victim? No. But these things are trivialized. They are manipulated because most of our leaders are themselves criminals. And they don't want people to know. Even our clerics, both Muslims and Christians, I have seen them. For instance, I have seen clerics talking about Muslim, Muslim ticket and why it is a jihad. Oh, that is criminal. Because in Islam, let us make it very clear. It is an, an injunction. The first law made by God in the Quran is when he created the heavens and the earth. He said he sat on his throne and made the first law. The first law is that he has denied himself the right to oppress. Even before he created his creatures. And I have denied, said God, the right for anyone to oppress the other. And then our prophet also said that the, 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 the rule of an atheist, a just atheist, mm. is better than an unjust Muslim. But our clerics were paid to say that Muslim, Muslim to get is the best and uh, is so so that means you are against that really. I am against, against it said they will turn, we the politicians have turned the country into a gentle criminal enterprise and it must be smart for it to be artistic. corruption kills three things that makes a society it kills entrepreneurship nobody thinks in a corrupt country so you don't want to create an entrepreneurship is what changes society. Because people are thinking, creating wealth. It kills professionalism. Tell me how people will be working hard doing research with university professors when they see people who have not been in, who are not supposed, who are supposed to look up to them any moment. You see me complain. How do you tell anybody that you buy a car of 160 million naira for a legislator and you pay a professor 400,000 a night? So if the professor decides not to eat, not to do anything, but to save his money, annually he will save maximum 4.8 million naira. Call it five million. So if he saved his money for 30 years without eating, without doing anything, he will not be able to buy the car he wants for himself. It is unacceptable. He wants to dismantle this. My people, from the video, you could hear the woman saying, what is his plan for Nigeria and also the northern part of the country? But he couldn't give a substantial answer to the question. The dumbest thing I noticed about what she said President Tinubu asked was what is it that she wants him to do so as to include it in his manifesto was that so if the woman did not ask were you not supposed to have your manifesto ready Tinubu said it's until he becomes the president of the Nigeria that that's when he can point out the things he would like to do for the country we Nigerians know that that is a lie this is the same man that two billion van lost their way into his company and also bought 160 million worth of cars to a legislator Why professor in Nigeria tertiary institution is collecting 400 k every person President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is surrounded with and not contributing positively to him and that's why we have negative headlines almost every day about nigeria politics i am very sure he saw a little of nigeria anguish about his tenure when he went to his residence in lagos when nigerians were shouting hunger is everywhere and i believe so much that before nigeria move forward there are some set of people he needs to move he needs to suspend and he needs to send out of his administration because what are the likes of Upper Bill and Wiki, what are they contributing to his to his administration? Everything they've been doing in his administration is everything 
concerning negativity and nigeria presently doesn't need people that will be contributing negatively to the country nigeria needs to move forward when nigeria called themselves the giants of africa our politicians should know that we should be ahead we should be moving but what they are doing is the other way around my people stay connected to this channel as i will be drawing this video to an end please feel free to drop your opinion in the comment section make sure you share this video to every social media platform if you cannot share it like it give it a thumbs up so that youtube will recommend it for us and if this is the first time you are coming across this channel please do where to click the red subscription button and do not forget to click the bell icon so that youtube will notify you anytime we drop another trendy video see you in our next video bye for now